Can we hurry it along, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. Uh, just keep moving. Hey, yep. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is McDuff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? I see them! What? Nice one, mate. Thanks. It's like, how did they? They automatically know who we are, too. Okay. Tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. I like the, uh, the camera changes that they do. Oh. That is a long way down. Careful. Yes, slippery. it is. There we go. There's more. Get down. Take cover. Took some real good cover there. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. Hi. There's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks like it's jammed, though. Let me see if I can loosen it. Look out. Here it comes. Come on, mate. Nice. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. Drop, drop. How about you, Cutter? A little help here. Sure, I got you. All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on. The one on the left is literally whoever designed that man i don't think they should be a designer for, for that that's the most uh inaccessible lever without having to climb like that crap it's a dead end down here Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. But whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Look at the iron. London market. underground. Oh, Victoria might be older. Yeah. This stuff's been rusting for a century. Oh boy. Maybe we can get through here. Definitely won't uh. be able to. Because I saw some yellow that we're going to have to climb up. Oh, no way we're moving there. <laughs> I think so. Uh. Hey, wait. There's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> oh, crap. Of course. Sec. Just checking something real quick.
There's a, uh, a new game out today by Ubisoft called Hyper, Hyper Scrape, I think it is. And uh, a lot of people are streaming it right now, and it's kind of similar with the Valorant uh, intro. Where basically you have to watch somebody in order to get an invite to the game, I'm pretty sure. And then it will be going free for everyone at some point. But I just wanted to make sure that my account was linked so that way uh, if one drops, it comes through. So, I don't know if I'll be giving it a try today anyways, since everyone's, all the big people are playing it. But... I mean, if one does come through, I can try it off stream or something, or maybe like even tomorrow or not. Uh, yeah, possibly. Depending on how long uh, everything takes tomorrow, I might be on, but I have a feeling it's going to be like an all day project because my aunt and uncle are moving. So I'm helping them move. So I don't I think work. I'll be able to get on, but we'll see. If I'm done by like three o'clock, which I highly doubt, uh, then I'll be able to stream. Otherwise, probably wait right. until uh, any possibly free time on Saturday or just straight up uh, Monday. We'll see though. What the hell is this place? Oh God. Gosh. Oh shit, get down. Very carefully. Good on. Nice. Thanks for having our back. Hey, there's Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. <laughs> Yachi. Yo, what's going on? Coffees, how you done? Latte coffees. How art thou? Drop, drop, drop. Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Uh oh. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. Stealth hey, introduction. Hey, hey, yeah, that's a wrong. We're from Cleveland. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. That a boy. What the hell kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. It's tire. Some sort of train I hear that. Surprisingly, yeah, last two got, nights or so, I've old. been having some trouble falling asleep. Jesus, but last night I uh, fell asleep either. pretty good and then woke up not actually extremely tired. Shh, get back. So, take them out quietly. It was nice for once in a while. Nicely done, Come on. Boys. They must have gone through here. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor, 16th century. Damn. No, 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 not through the door. They're probably still in there. <laughs> point. Not going in. Up this way. Quietly, mate. Quiet and carefully. Hey, over here. Come on. I do have my water. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally. Drake's Finally. secret 
will be revealed. What is this? I don't it's understand. It's a fake. Like. That's what it is. It's a forgery. What? Aha. That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. Ah, yes. Boom. One Matrix man down. I really like how they do the intro for this one. It makes a lot more sense. This is quite the operation they got going here. I just saw a shiny. Where's the where's the shiny? Look at all that stuff. Big ass spider. Earth. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. It belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They... Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L. O. Yeah, what's going on, Scorer? Or H. D. N. Yeah, this is one of my favorite huh. Uncharted what games. Is... My second favorite, as uh, of right now. Long hidden. What? Shush, shush. No shit, long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a, a model? golden hind? Maybe a painting. Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's got to be here. Well, it could be a Buckland Abbey for a week. Let's see. Buckland Abbey is a place you've never been there. Move on. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but. No. No, it's got to be here. This place is amazing. Things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, we can't be screwing around. Oh, I like see it. I see it. Minute. It's right there. Of 
There it is. I found it. Where? Up there. The figurehead from Drake's ship. <laughs> the first one is kind of rough, not gonna lie. But I think each one gets uh, a little bit better with with time and uh, yeah, essentially. Like the second is better than the first, the third is better than the second, and then the fourth is my all time favorite. I haven't played Lost Legacy, which is like their spin off one. So that. It's like the perfect combination of like the. Uh, oh, shit. It's a personally, trap. I really like a lot right of here, like Assassin's cover. Creed and like the hidden lore and like history aspect of them. So typically, I like that's why I like this type of game comes off uh, pretty cool to me. Laura <laughs> Croft, I haven't really liked Tomb Raider. I haven't gotten into it. But I, I do want to play the game. Just because I've heard so many good things. That was pretty sick. I do have all three of the, the most recent Tomb Raider games too. Just haven't played them yet. Well, they are making a movie of Uncharted, supposedly. No information on it really, but they are making it with uh, Tom Holland is supposed to be playing younger Drake. I don't know if they released who is uh, Sully it. just yet. We've got to get out of here, Knight. Just keep moving forward. We'll find a way out. They are good, like base stories too, though. Be like history or like things like that it's another reason why i like them so much four i think four was one of my like, if you have a ps4 like you gotta play it Yeah, nah. I don't know how you make like these types hey, of games like honestly on, like up. even more realistic. Too. Honestly, playing it, it is kind of hard to forget about the fact that like you are killing, like mass murdering all these people that are trying to kill you, <laughs> like with no remorse. But that's why it's good to not think too much into it and just just enjoy it. <laughs> huh? 
I've heard a lot of really good things about the uh, Butter, where the hell one are of the we? latest. The North Atwood Station, come on. Um. The latest uh, Tomb Raider games. I tried playing like Tomb Raider 2013, or I think that was the first one. And I didn't really get uh, into it that much. Okay. Every time I see them, too, I see them more in like uh, they're like open space, like woods and things like that. Personally, I prefer games that are more like urban. Oh god! Get out of here! There we go. Chloe, can you read me? We're coming out the old North Outwood station. There's no time to explain. We've got to... going come on good thing she has good aim Get in. Go, go. Yeah, you really do. <laughs> he dropped people like flies so then the guy the says, people, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now I gotta catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D, one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was <laughs> John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. Dean Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. <laughs> Even when True. he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. Ellie and Joel. He traveled all over <laughs> documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, oh, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel Kali Desert. Right here. Well... <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? 
Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubelkali Desert. Nothing. 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? I've heard exactly. good things about it. It's kind of like a, like a shooter. What the shooter. hell? Let's style. do it. <laughs> I heard it's a good co-op game. Eastern France. End of the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. What? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too yeah. far. <laughs> With... All right. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break actually and grab a drink. Probably make some coffee. Um, and then we'll go ahead and continue with this here. So I will be right back and then, uh, yeah. So. BRB, my friends. And boom. Boom. All right. We are, where's my controller? Good to go. Uh, all right, one sec actually, let me see. So can you actually turn off the controller vibration? Uh, Cause I really don't want that. On PlayStation, let's see. PS4 turn off controller vibration. Controllers. Is there a PS4 menu? Play. DualShock 4 controller. Vibration of feature for vibration on the for right now. Out feature at all. So if you need to turn it off, this is what you need to do. Scroll down to devices. Once you're okay, I got it. All right, so you go to devices. Then controllers, and then <clears throat> disable vibration. I could have sworn that I had that uh, turned off, but I guess it came back on at one point. Anyways, now that controller vibration is off, we can go ahead and continue with this here. So you, I never we know are if that means a quarter mile or six. twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. Also, apparently, uh, there's only 22 chapters in that this one. Prison within a year. So that's uh, you were that way all on your the exact own. number of chapters <laughs> the first game was. So we well, might here. be able to finish today. Depends. 
Just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta Might be a way to grind it out. Of course, we'll I don't see remember that. this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. Speaking of uh, Deep Watch Rock, I was playing the this game, uh, Unfortunate Spaceman. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right yesterday place? or last night? It's interesting. It's more like Renaissance. The uh, tutorials are actually again. pretty something? hilarious. Now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. It's made by the same guys that make like Dusk ah! and things, uh, whatever <laughs> other games. Oh, this I'm not looks sure sketchy. off the top of my head. Ooh. Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. According to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're gonna find him. There's a way in. Uh, maybe not. Right, try this door. Ah. Not getting in this way. I wonder if you just keep tapping X that above if that makes it I faster. I don't want to cut myself. I think it kind of does. Right, nice going, kid. Be right back. I'll be waiting. My only fear is pressing it too fast and then you jump off the edge and then you got to restart. The uh, the checkpoint placements in this type of game are very generous, at least. Here. It's changed shot. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. You good? Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Oh man, look at this place. Get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? You can try. Mm hmm. Trying to see. Hey, help me lift this up. Yeah, Smart guy, Sully. That'll do it. Be careful up there. Old damn thing's rotten. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah, must be how they lowered them down to clean them. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. I see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. No. Oh, you're crazy. Watch it. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. <laughs> what the heck? Ah, there you go. That's so sketch. Fall. All right, got it. There, I'm in. Question is, in what? Is that a popcorn machine? 
Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. I'm gonna have to look up all the uh, Easter eggs once I finish this game and the rest of them. I'm sure uh, Fun with Guru has a good amount of information on them. Hey, Nate. Square Tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. Wreckful. Oh, really? I'm not sure. That's rough, though. R.I.P. There was another guy that, um... Oh, there was the guy from... He was a siege, uh, person. I read about it the other day. Can't remember his name. It was something 25. Um... He did, like, a siege <gasps> podcast and covered a bunch of information on, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Apparently, he, uh... Had some mental health problems and looks like we can get through here. It was suicide, yeah. supposedly. Shit's real. Watch it. Oh, nice. I it's I hate to say, it, but like every time I hear something like that, like I always want to go back and like look in, at their videos, like what type hey, of Nate. content they created. Isn't this the same symbol? That Not was really, the like it. Yeah. Uh, like I'm interested in like right? what caused them, but like the just passage? or what the caused. Fireplace? To kind of on the nose, don't you think? That yeah, to happen to them, but more so like to kind of remember them. Like, damn, this person is no longer around. I remember I did that when uh, Total Biscuit died too. I went back hey, and watched like one of his videos. Of Wait, Lawrence made a note about something like this. Let's see. Yeah, here, see, four knights. With an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. But where is he seeing that? <laughs> he put devil horns on her. Maybe we but. gotta turn each night so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? Where's the knights? See one there. This is like step one of the page or of the book. Try to keep going through. Oh, here it is. Uh, think. Must be some kind of trick to it. Pattern. I don't know. My right ear keeps uh doing the ringing. Did it this morning, and now it's doing it again. I don't know, man. <laughs> this one is a different kind of puzzle. Axe and the shield. Oh, uh, wait. Maybe that's... So, shield. Oh, shield face the axe. Axe face the shield. And, ah, oh, I see, I see. Okay. So, shield. Let's. I guess we'll start with that. Or no, let's do... Yeah, shield, face the guy with the axe. So you're going to face the other way. So you're going to face this dude on your right. Okay. Now, axe dude faces the shield. Oh, look at that. Well, well. And I guess the rest of them were facing the correct ones. Right. Gotta hand it to you, Sully. 
Okay. I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait. One, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. Yeah, no, I get that. Eight? Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. You be careful down there. Right. Hope there is another side. Yeah, hopefully. What the hell is that noise? Are these the giant spiders? Oh god, they're shiver shivers. I should be able to get through here. Swear to god. Go away. Go away, chat. Go away. Gross. I have a, uh, <laughs> I have lyric stream pulled up in the background right now though because of the uh, the new game that they're playing. Uh, I guess down further. Why is he- he keeps going up. The heck? What? I don't know if this is the right way or not. Hey, it looks like it might be. <laughs> oh no, they changed the website. Hey, light. It's a good sign. Rip. Okay, I'm sure Fossabot will pick that up soon enough. Oh, thank God. Way out. All right, I should be able to climb up through there. Piece of cake. Go, go, go. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. I got warned, Sully. Apparently, Microsoft is renewing the new uh, the Fable trademark with intent to use, supposedly. All right, ready. Oh. You're through. Holy crap. They, uh, they're renewing the, the trademark for, uh, Fable, supposedly. I just saw a thing on, uh, uh, Reddit, Reddit notification. It said that they're renewing the trademark with, and apparently, I guess when you renew it, you have to renew it. Or something, and they said intend to use, to use possible. Uh, okay. Fable. I mean, it would make sense for them to bring Fable back, especially with uh, the amount that people love that game, and bringing it back for next gen. I think that would do them probably a lot of good. 
so long as it's done right. There's still a guy here. Where'd he go? Here he are. Here we go. I don't think he's okay. Jesus, they brought a small army. That's, that's the game saying, hey, go climb up these windows now. There's a new entrance. Oh, thanks for the gift, boys. Yeah, true. Sully. That thing is loaded with grenades and we can't use any of them. Oh wait, you know what? I'll take this assault off. <laughs> Dead. Mercy. There you go. Boom. That's sick. If you run out of ammo and you beat, uh, hit somebody, like, knock them out or whatever. Then uh, he takes their new weapon or their previous weapon. All off the edge, Indiana Jones style. <laughs> nice. Up this way. Damn, I'm getting a ton of notifications from Reddit right now. Give me some help with this door. NVIDIA bundle is Death Stranding with RTX cards. Hmm. Andy Milanakis confirms Rekful has committed suicide. Damn. Well, which way now? I'm not really sure. Why don't we try going down? So apparently it was, uh... Shit, man. It sucks. There's a uh, treasure right there. Uh, we're going down. Yeah, man. 